The battle between the US and Canada continues. This time, we're dragging Kraft into it. That's right, we're doing another comparison here of US and Canada products, thanks to my good buddy Beansy. You guys know him, and if you don't, go find out who he is. You won't be disappointed. But anyway, thanks to Beansy, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff here from Canada, and one of the things that he and I talked about quite a bit was mac and cheese, the KD craft dinner, as they call it there. And uh, you know, one thing I will say, their packaging is just, it seems more fun. I'll show you. So here we've got Kraft mac and cheese. Your standard, your box of dried mac, powdered cheese type of stuff in there. And uh, that's what we've got on the shelves here. The looks changed a little bit over the years, but it's essentially the same thing all the time. Or is it? Because I've got KD here. The KD original, as they call it. And as far as I know, it's still Kraft. It's Kraft Heinz, in fact, in Canada. It looks similar, but is it? Is it the same? Is it what we have here? Is what we have what they have there? I don't know. But we're going to find out. I've made mac and cheese. I made a lot of mac and cheese. More than most people should have. But here we are. This is how we're going to do things. I've got bowls here. We'll get to this one in a minute or two. Uh, but we're just going to see, is there any difference? Uh, as far as recipe stuff goes, what it tells you on the box, really the only difference that uh, that I substituted, in a sense, with, uh, let me see where we are here. Uh, the US one, it calls for a quarter cup of milk and four tablespoons of margarine or butter. It doesn't specify what kind of milk, but a little bit of milk, a lot of butter or margarine. I went with butter and I used whole milk. When it comes to the Katie original, slightly different. They, uh, well, they've got it in French here too. Amazing. Uh, but we've got uh, a tablespoon of non-hydrogenated margin. Yeah. And a third cup of skim milk. So again, I'm not, I'm not buying a lot of milk. Who buys a lot of milk? People in the 70s, that's who. Go watch 70s programming, uh, especially here. Everyone had giant glasses of milk. Didn't matter what time of day, full glasses of milk to drink. It was a weird time. We probably had a lot better bones and teeth back then, though. Anyway, yeah, so it calls for less butter slash margarine and a little more milk. So what I did was I did the tablespoon of butter, same as the, the, the U.S. stuff, and I did, again, use whole milk. But otherwise, I stuck to the ratios that they required. So it's pretty darn close. Or is it? Anyway, let's get into these bowls. They're just sitting right here just being decorations. Let's get them in here. First up, I've got the U.S. Kraft Mac and Cheese. Um, I will say, I don't know how well you guys can tell this here. It's a little tough to see. This is the Canada one. And this before I tip it all over the table. There's the U.S. So I'm not sure if that's, if that's showing up or not. Uh, this is a bit darker. Again, using the same, the same stuff. I don't know if it's just because there's more butter in here. It's yellowy. Versus uh, that little more golden kind of color that the Canadian side came out with. The powders, as far as I could tell, looked the same when I dumped them into the pots. Let's give it a taste, though. And a smell. It's mac and cheese. Nothing specific about it. It's, it's what I remember. It's what I've had as a kid. I don't, if I do buy like a box mac and cheese, I like the stuff that comes with the cheese goo in the pouch, not the powdery stuff. Because again, I don't, I don't buy milk. I don't buy milk. Who buys milk? Weirdos, that's who. Calling you out milkers. I don't think that's what you're called. Don't Google that. But as taste goes, it's inoffensive. It's basic. It's... It's like American cheese, like Kraft Singles, really, um, which makes sense. Same people. So 
Kraft Singles, Kraft Mac and Cheese, it's all the same, just a slightly different form. Let's try the Canadian version though. Hmm. It seems to have a little different smell. Yeah. Maybe that is the whole butter thing. The butter ratio kind of throws it off. This has a, I don't want to say cheesy because I don't know that it's cheese, but let's say. Hmm. It seems to have a little more distinct flavor to it, but but more artificial in a sense. I don't know. I mean, I know it's cheese product stuff. I think it's got real milk, real butter in there. None of that margarine nonsense. Can't tell you the last time I had margarine. I was a kid at that point. Things were in black and white back then. We used to watch the radio at night. That's how long ago it was. Yeah. I think it's what it is. It's got a little bit of a... I don't know why the word husky comes to mind. A huskier, bolder ish kind of sense about it but again i'm thinking maybe that's just the butter otherwise they're fairly similar just nondescript processed cheese I think the canadians call it american cheese i'll have to ask beansy so are these any good either one we'll start with that just real quick Sure. If you grew up on mac and cheese, it's still mac and cheese. Whether you're from here in the U.S., over there in Canada, probably anywhere else in the in the world, I imagine, your basic box mac and cheese is going to be basic box mac and cheese. Um, as for which one is better, I don't think there's a definitive winner here. They're both basic. They're both what they're supposed to be and close enough that I can tell at least that I couldn't tell. I think if you swapped in a box of Canada for the American without telling me, I don't know that I would notice. I maybe think you made it a little differently, but that'd be it. I wouldn't think it had a different origin. So I think mostly just based on recipe, there's a slight difference. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm curious what beans he's going to say, because he also is doing a similar comparison. So uh, I'll throw links in usual places at the end and down below and I don't know, wherever. Um, and we'll see what Beansy has to say about it. Maybe he's got a little bit better palate on this than I do. I don't know. But hang on, you're, what? You're right, I didn't get to this other bowl yet. Thanks for helping. So Beansy also recently did a KFC mac and cheese that, uh, that we don't have here and it's, Mac and cheese, but KFC branded. So in watching his video, spoilers. Okay. I just want to give you a fair warning. One thing, the way he describes it, it seems like almost like stuffing sort of seasonings to it. Um, you know, that, that, that Thanksgiving stuffing dressing sort of flavors about it, at least from the way he described it. So I made some KFC mac and cheese. I just took some poultry seasoning and put it in with the uh, mac and cheese sauce. I don't know if you can see on that. Probably not. It's just it's mac and cheese with poultry seasoning. And that's what it smells like. It smells like that Thanksgiving, you know, stovetop stuffing stuffed in the in the bird carcass type of uh, type of smell. Well now. That's something. It's cheesy in the same sense. I mixed it, I think, with the American 
I think so. I think I mix it with the Mac, the, the American Mac and Cheese. Maybe I should have done the Canadian. I don't know. But that's a good flavor. It's got that cheese, you know, Kraft cheese, and the poultry seasoning, which gives it something a little more savory, kind of herbaceous. It's got a good smell to it. This I like. This, I may have to do with mac and cheese we're moving forward here. So is this any good, this homemade KFC KD? Yeah, this one's gonna be a thumbs up. Yeah, I know it's not really an official thumbs up. You can put that in a different column in your spreadsheets if you need to, but this is good. I recommend doing this yourself, or hey, if you're up in Canada and you can get that KD uh, KFC mashup there, do it. I think you'll enjoy it. But wait, one last thing while I still have you here. One thing I found out from Beansy is KFCs up there don't have mac and cheese. Weird. As far as I've known, KFC, at least in my lifetime that I can remember, has always had mac and cheese. It's a side. They got their coleslaw. They got their potatoes and gravy with, you know, the Colonel's special gravy. If you know anything about old Harlan, he was mad about that gravy. I got some KFC mac and cheese, some actual from the KFC, KFC mac and cheese. It's a little more elbow macaroni looking, as I imagine it should be. And a bit paler in comparison, if you can kind of see, a little less golden. Smells cheesy though. And yet, it's kind of weird. So since we've got it here, and I've got you here, KFC's mac and cheese, is it any good? Sorry, Colonel, but no. No. I like your uh, mashed potatoes and gravy for sure. Get a biscuit, dunk that in the gravy as well. Man, that's good eating. This, man. Thankfully, I just got a little side of it, so there's not a whole ton to contend with there. But yeah, I don't know. That's almost a little disappointing, especially when we got this. But that's going to be it for me here. Uh, I've got a lot of mac and cheese to deal with here and probably a nap. But I'm going to see all you folks here, uh, possibly with some more comparisons coming down the road. We'll see. More battles. More battles with Canada. Next time.